Hey guys, this video is about how you can create your mobile application in uh, Barberly for your barbershop and so on and uh, also how you can publish it to App Store and Google Play. So let's take a look. Uh, we are now on a starting guide page. This is where you end after registration and first you go through uh, starting guide steps. So we don't cover uh, all data creation in this video. So we have separate video about how you create team members, services, working hours, locations. Uh, where is a link just below this one here. Um, yeah, so here we just cover design and publishing goes up. So um, I go ahead and click on uh, own branded mobile application on the top. It takes me to some design page and uh, also uh, I can get to this page uh, just from navigation menu. I click on apps and uh, select a mobile app on the top. It would be same page. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just going from top to the bottom uh, on the left and uh, yeah you see it right so um, and uh, yeah show you how everything works so uh, first background background image is a image that appears on the background of all application uh, pages so um, you can upload your own one or you can pick something from what we suggest here so for example uh, if i click on it something you see it already changed uh, I can also use cover if I don't like images, so uh, I go to cover picker, apply something, save, and now I have just black cover. Sometimes it also can uh, look good, so, uh, but yeah, let me for now go back to image here. Uh, so next I go to logo. Uh, so on the logo, uh, it's expected that you upload your own logo, of course. So um, what, what we can do here is uh, I just can pick from something that we suggest uh, from our examples here just for fun to play and to see how everything works. Uh, but yeah, normally you just uh, click uh, browse uh, image and upload your own logo. There is actually also an option to hide logo at all. For example, like here, if you have a good background image which uh, already shows your salon, barbershop and maybe some logo involved, uh, you, you may just hide it. But for this example, I will leave uh, our testing logo here. <coughs> uh, next icons, uh, you can change uh, all these icons here uh, and also on the bottom if you provide, let's say, slightly different services, for example, if you uh, more specialized on women services and you don't like men here so you go to icons you select uh, <coughs> team members and uh, you pick some icon with a woman and uh, go back and here you see that icon is already changed um, so next colors um, so for colors uh, we have some pre-selected uh, pre-filled uh, themes uh, which you can use some uh, combination of colors uh, for example you can switch to black ones uh, or to green for example and then uh, you do configuration here so you change colors you, you click on it and you just apply your brand colors or colors that you like um, the app is uh, clickable, so um, when you did some changes, like here, applied covers, you can click on pages to see what it looks like now. So yeah, you can play with it, or you can go to black, for example, and uh, like I already did here with the covers, if I go to background and use black cover, so maybe you like it like this fully black. <clears throat> so next I go to languages. So by default uh, you probably will have only one language uh, in the app, but you can add more. So <clears throat> like now I have English, let's say I add German, I add Spanish, I click save and uh, if I now go back to let's say covers page, uh, you can spot here, uh, I now have switch between languages. So if you have more than one language, uh, app will show switch here. So uh, I can click on it and switch to Spanish. You see that 
everything is already in Spanish or in German. So let me go back to English. Uh, now, for example, uh, you for some reason would like to change text. Um, let's say now it says my bookings here. So uh, what you need to do, we have all list of uh, screens here available. So uh, again, you go from top to the bottom just to check uh, all texting that we use. And uh, yeah, you can work with it. You can change it. So I go to welcome screen here. I find my bookings. And uh, for example, I change it to appointments. I wait a little bit to reload and now it says appointments here. So I, I can do the same for all, absolutely all text in the app. Uh, yeah, and uh, also if you'd like to make changes for other languages, not for English, which is selected here, you just pick language on the top. You switch to German, you see now it says uh, everything in German and yeah, so you make changes. Um, of uh, selected language. Yeah, so that's it about uh, design and configuration of the app itself. The only thing which I'd like to show you is a uh, um, possibility to, uh, because changes they are made very fast. Uh, let me better maybe switch back to English again. So changes, you can make changes fast. So yeah, then application is already published. Uh, you go here back to this page and uh, you uh, can apply any design. Click apply changes button on the top. You see, uh, I put on my mouse on it. So um, yeah, um, once you click apply changes, it uh, updates uh, all apps which already installed. So you don't need to release updates or do anything else. So you just click apply changes and that's it. And uh, our, many of our clients they actually use it. Uh, because uh, if you want to show some information for the clients, you can just upload it instead of logo and clients will see it, maybe with some text. Some of our mobile barbers, they use it. Uh, uh, they uh, upload here information uh, where to find them today, um, for example. And uh, that's why we also have some uh, mood here for uh, holidays, let's say for Christmas or Halloween. Uh, because you can actually apply it quite fast. So you go to Halloween page, you pick some background. Um, maybe let me hide logo because it's not seen. Aha, uh -huh, okay, this one is probably was not the best example. Uh, let's pick another one. Yeah, with a cat. Or maybe this one. Now I can go to logo page and also switch to Halloween and put something scary like this or just Halloween. Yeah, and you click apply changes and uh, your app will instantly change to Halloween app for all clients. So it's really a good way to create some mood and uh, in Barberly we create even some uh, <laughs> Uh, I would say we repost uh, all our clients uh, who makes uh, changes or decorations for some holidays because it's always some fun and some mood sharing. <clears throat> so same for Christmas and uh, same for uh, any other holidays, your local holidays, you can use it. So uh, the last thing about uh, mobile application, you actually publishing itself. So now you would need to publish it to App Store and Google Play. For this you go to publish mobile app page and uh, here um, because uh, this testing app is already published and I have update buttons here uh, but you will uh, see a little bit different screen uh, just like publish your mobile app. You click on it and it will take you to the page with uh, where you provide listing details. So listing details is the name of the application. Normally it's your business name. Um, description also something about your app and about your business. It appears in App Store and Google Play and also icon. 
just as uh, any app, your app also has an icon and this icon uh, will appear on uh, client fonts. Um, so uh, yeah, I think it must be a logo, definitely. We have some suggestions here, um, just in case if you temporarily don't have it. But uh, yeah, so uh, we recommend uh, uploading your logo here. So there are some requirements uh, which come from uh, stores, not from us. That uh, icon must be pretty big. Uh, you see here, it must be squared and uh, with a such size. So if for some reason you can't upload your icon, if it's too small or something, just contact uh, our support here. We help you with images. It's fine. You can send image to us and we can make it uh, fit uh, for icon. <clears throat> So uh, one important thing here, um, design any design changes, as I already said, they don't require any new uh, publishing, any new updates, because they happen inside the app. But if you'd like to change something in store listing information, like here, so store listing is basically just three things, uh, name, description, and icon. If you change something of that, uh, it would require publishing of the update. So um, next, when, when your app is published, you go here, you click publish update and uh, you provide changes for description and name and icon and uh, again you click save and send to review. So what happens when you publish a um, new app or when you send up to review already published application, so when you request update? Um, it takes uh, from two to four business days to publish your app to App Store and Google Play because uh, there are several people involved in this process. Uh, your app is physically installed by specialists from Apple Store and from Google Play. They uh, check your app, they see that everything is okay and they approve it. So it, that's why it takes some time, two, four days. Um, so once uh, application uh, is uh, in the store, you will receive a notification from us with all details. We also send you marketing materials, we send you posts for Instagram, we send you video to share on how to use your app. Uh, so we do all the things. Yeah, guys, that's it. Uh, so I also uh, recommend you to watch video about uh, website configuration. I also put a link here just below. Uh, it's important because uh, it uh, website basically promotes your mobile app. Um, normally your clients, they need to link to install your application, right? So the link can be uh, up, uh, linked to App Store or Google Play. You don't know which uh, phone uh, your client is using. And that's why actually a website is very helpful because uh, you, uh, let's say you, give, may, uh, <laughs> you provide a link to your client, uh, to your website, Barberly website. And uh, Barbarly website already decides uh, uh, if client visited from uh, iPhone, it suggests client to install uh, application from uh, Apple App Store. If client visited from uh, Android phone, uh, it will suggest uh, installing app from Google Play. So your website is also very important to land new clients because it lands clients from uh, uh, web, uh, web search, uh, from social media, from everywhere where you provide a link. Yeah, I think, I think that's it uh, for this video. Thank you for watching.